Hello YouTube! Last time I gave you an ABC deck profile, this time I'm going to give you a Striker Orcus profile. Uh, let me preface it by saying that the profile I'm giving you, I'm not too fond of it because I would play a few different things, but yeah. Here it is. So, my hand trials we have 3 Max C, 3 Ash. I actually played Droll because I kept playing against Drychon. I think I was like towards the end of my climb, I dropped Ash for Droll. I personally would not do that a second time because Ash is just so much better than Droll in every other matchup. So play 3 Ash, don't play Droll like I did. Uh, 2 Imperm because I was running out of, it was already getting pretty big in terms of a deck size. And, you know, Imperm, it's an okay hand trap. It's not as impactful as Maxi or Ash, but it's a pretty good hand trap regardless. Alright, so 3 Scrap Recycler, 1 Armageddon, 1 Gearsu. Easier to play starters, they dump Orcas, do whatever they need to do. Gearsu is the best one because Gearsu is 1800 first off, he's big. He's also a one card combo by himself if you play Link Karibo, or rather if you have Link Karibo, I don't. He can get you a, a board of Long Gearsu, Ding Gearsu, Crescendo set, or if you're not afraid of getting OTK'd by Numeron, then you can just go Gala and Ding Gearsu, that board is pretty hard to break. For most decks, because they they can't twin twister you, they can't feather dust you, they can't lightning storm you. Then gear super protects it. It's good to go. The board I was normally making with the deck though was the IP board because it's just I don't know how to say this, but it's it's just generically good against most decks, but it does lose to back row hate, unfortunately. Alright, the one harp because we're only allowed to play one harp. <laughs> I would play three if I could, but I can't. Two skeleton because at one copy, you won't break as much, but at one copy, if Skeleton gets stopped by, by anything, like, I don't know, your opponent ghost spells you, then you can try and get an extra one with a second Skeleton. So play two Skeleton. Don't play three, because that's too many copies, and you really don't want to do that. You can also recycle Skeleton very easily in this deck. Uh, two Nightmare. Two Nightmares, strictly because I was running out of deck space. I actually played three in a blind second build. Because seeing Orca things for three returns is really good. So play two. If you if you can afford to play three, play three. It doesn't really matter too much. Just don't play one. Don't play one. Never play one nightmare. That's a mistake. One wand. I hate this card. It was in my hand every game. But it is necessary for recovery plays. It summons back any of your Orcus cards. And best part is with a card like Access Code, you can banish Long Gear from Graveyard. And then boom. World 1 says, I'm going to summon that right back. So you end up having like 53 and 25 and then you summon literally anything else. Or you nightmare something away. Or you nightmare the wand on your access code and deal lethal that way. It's a very effective and versatile card. Do play 1. If you're feeling lucky, play 2. But I wouldn't suggest it. Alright, 3 Allure. It says draw 2 cards. That's all I need to know. It's a spell. It's not once per turn. It's pretty good. Uh, this card, I hate this card, but I don't have Upstart Goblin. If you have Upstart Goblin, don't play Into the Void, it sucks. <laughs> if you don't, honestly, I still wouldn't play this card. It was kind of bad. <laughs> Into the Void lost me a lot of games because I would end up discarding my entire hand, losing like my Maxi and my Ash because I just didn't draw anything I needed. It sucked. I would say not to play this card, but if you still want to play more or draw cards, you could play Into the Void. Because it's basically just a poor man's Upstart Goblin. If you have Upstart, please play Upstart. It's way better. On top of that, every time I was topping for turn and I saw Into the Void, I cried <laughs> every time. Alright, so besides Scuffed Upstart Goblin, we have Into like Engage. My favorite card in the deck. Engage is just so... Oh my god, this card is so good. You resolve all your other spells first, like your allures, your into the your upstarts if you have them. In my case, into the void. And then you just engage, add widow anchor, draw a card, or engage drones, drones Kagari, engage again, engage for a widow anchor, draw another card. You draw like four cards. This card is nuts. So definitely two engage. If you could play three, you play three. Uh, one afterburner, it's an engaged target. It's pretty good. It outs annoying monsters. Or it just outs. It can even out back row if you have three spells. But usually, it just uses to nu nuke something on the board. Uh, two Widow Anchor. 
it says negate a card, it says steal a card. It's not. It's not like I, it's not rocket science. Let's be real. It's just a good card to play. And then one horned drones. It makes Kagari. It makes it so that if you draw drones by itself or engage plus like nightmare, you can just do full combo that way. Definitely run one drones. If I could run two, I'd run two, but I can't. The only, I'm not running Shark Cannon because Shark Cannon isn't that great. It's only really good in the Eldritch matchup. But against Eldritch, you pretty much win if you go first. You literally just make IP. They set five cards, you Trispana, and then they auto scoot because they don't have any board presence. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we have for spells? Three Orchestrator Return. It says draw two cards. And everything in your deck is an Orcas. Well, almost everything in your deck is an Orcas. I actually might cut this down to two. Just because it is a hard op and it does clog your hands sometimes. But it's not a bad card. Like, if I had to reduce the deck size, I would probably cut one Allure. And one of this. And then play three Upstart. And you'd have a better deck. Immediately. Alright, one Babel. It's Search Bob Galatia. It makes the IP board really hard to break. It makes it so that you can have Dingir, who has a quick effect. There's not much to say about Babel, it's just, it's Babel. People wanted this card banned in the TCG back in like 2019, so that should tell you enough. Two Twin Twister. Um, this is your only form of back row hate. You lose to Skill Drain. You kind of have to play Twin Twister. I don't want to play this personally. I wish this was like a consistency card or something else, but what can you do? <laughs> Eldritch exists, Skill Drain exists, other weird back row decks exist. It's a B01 format, play Twin Twister. Play whatever back row hate you want. Twister is good because you can discard an Orcus and then it can sometimes unbrick you, funny enough. So that, that's why I play Twin Twister. Two Claw by the Grave, anti hand trap, it's also a spell. Hooray. Two Cross Out because three. I was playing three Cross Out before, but with three Cross Out, I was clogging my hands too much. And Cross Out on that called by is actually opt. So opening multiple Cross Out is not very good. So two cross out is fine. Uh, I think I already went over imperm. The one crescendo because crescendo lesson. If you're able to make the the Dingirsu Galatea board with crescendo set, they have to. They're basically forced to play against an Omni Negate. There's not too many people running cosmic on the ladder. I did run into a few people running cosmic, but it was only like one or two. Most of them ran either Feather Duster, Lightning Storm, or you know other stuff that says destroy. Dengirsu doesn't care. Dengirsu says detach, detach. Okay, play a card, negate that card. With hand traps or whatever, you just win. If you have Max C in the hand, but Crescendo, that's like an auto scoop for a lot of decks. They do not want to give you more cards. Alright, so that's it for the main deck that we have now fixed. This is what you should play. Remember, this is upstart, not into the void. Don't play into the void like I did. You'll have a much better time. Two Dengirsu. Ding is like Ding is one of the best extra deck Orcus monsters besides Galatia. It just it's so good to have. You can send a card, you can recycle your engine, or you can just sit on a Ding Gearsu that protects your board and not get killed for whatever reason. Also protects you from access code because the protection effect does not activate. It just applies. If you only have one, you can get by with just one, but I would try to get two. The one Kagari. Kagari, it just is Kagari. It lets you recycle engage. It lets you make drones. A one card Orcas combo. Well, 1.5 card. You need an Orcas card. It's a good card. Uh, Hayate, honestly, I don't like Hayate. I would drop this for something else. Like a second long Girsu, maybe. It never really came up. It does get you to engage if you have a really shitty hand. But if you have a, a really shitty hand, then I, I don't know what to tell you. You're probably not going to win that game anyway. Uh, one Cerberus, it's a Nightmare, it discards cards. One Phoenix, it, again, it, it discards cards, it's a Nightmare. And you know what to say. One Galatea, you only like to play one Galatia. I wish you could play two or three even. That'd be nice, but you can't, so just one. One Mascarena, you, all, you, this, you, you always go into IP Mascarena, or like 99% of your games, you'll go into IP. So one IP, it's great. Barricade. Again, if you open bad, you open like two bodies, you just barricade, discard whatever, and then you have combo because it's a free discard. Literally the only reason you play barricade is because he discards cards. 
the bonus effect is irrelevant. No one cares about the bonus effect. Uh, Tris Baina, auto win against back row decks. You make it off IP most of the time. Very good to have. One Nightmare Unicorn. It's a dark monster, and it's a nightmare. You can spin anything, it discards cards. Let's you ladder into access code. But most importantly, it's a dark monster that does something. You can also make it off of IP, but I try not to because typically you won't have a hand at the end of your turn. Because of Into the Void mainly. But if you're playing Upstart, there, you probably won't run into that issue. Uh, one Long Girsu. Like I said before, I would be playing two because Hayate is just... She's not that great. I would play, I would play two Long Girsu. He's another Orcus Link monster. He lets you get to Ding Girsu easier. And you can banish him off access code to summon him back a world one. It's pretty free. Uh, one top logic bomber dragon. I pretty much never summon this because it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything against most matchups. I guess against Tri Brigade you could do something with it, but Yeah, I guess it's fine against a Tri Brigade matchup. You just keep nuking their board, they they can never summon anything. Um this one uh, Zero Boros. Zero Boros is insane. If you're playing against Numeron and you IP into Zero Boros, they they can't win. You wait for them to summon their stuff, and either they play into your arrows, or if they don't play into your arrows, you skeleton, special Dengirsu, chain link one zero Boros, banish everything, chain link two, Dengirsu attach. So Dengirsu gets banished, and then you attach either I I don't know what you would attach, you either the, the Skeleton, the Nightmare, or the Harp, whatever you need at the time, you attach one, and then next turn he comes right back, and he's really big. This card alone can win you games, because just because of how absurdly big he is. And then the one access code, because, you know, access code ends games by himself. So, like I said before, if you have Link Aribo, I would probably play Link Aribo, probably in place of the Cerberus here. And then if you have a second Long Gear suit, I would play it in place of the Hayate. So this is what I would have played. Well, sorry, I gotta remove that card first. This is what I would have played if I had the funds, but I unfortunately did not. Alright, hopefully that deck profile was good, hopefully you like it. If you like the deck profile, please consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing to my channel so I can release more stuff like this. And if you don't like the video, or rather you don't like the profile, please let me know what I did wrong. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Zeo. Later.